Good afternoon ladies and gents, hope you all had a good week. Today's video is going to be about push-ups, um, all, the, all the different types of them, um, all, all working your chest. Um, I'll go through them from the easiest form of the push-up to push-ups that are a little bit harder and give you a better workout. Hope you guys all enjoy, good luck. The first push-up I'm going to do today is called an incline push-up. It is the easiest push-up you can do. Um, the idea of it is that you're still standing when you do the push-up. And you use, you can use a wall, a back of a couch. Um, but the idea is you stand with your, with your feet normally straight and your arms will be about shoulder width apart. But I'm going to use a park bench to, to do this. You just, you just have your shoulders shoulder width apart and your feet just out slightly and just like a normal push up you're just going down to your arms at 90 degrees and going back up. Using the park bench will be harder than using a wall because the more inclined you are doing a push up the easier it will be. The second push up I'm going to do is if you can't, if you still can't do a push up on your toes push up on your knees. Um, the idea is you're on your knees and doing the same as a normal push up, just on your knees. Bending down to your arms at 90 degrees and then coming back up and it's easy as that. The next push up is just your standard normal push up. You're having your arms shoulder width apart and you're, you're on your toes. When you're doing the push-up, you're keeping your body straight as you go down with your arms. You're not dipping your back or leaving your bum in the air. You have to keep your back as straight as you can and go down. These next push-ups are all going to be um, a, a variety of standard push-ups. There will be a wide wide push-up, a diamond push-up, and a, a tucked in push-up. For your wide push-up, your step where you would normally do a push-up with your arms being shoulder width apart, go that little bit further. So when you're doing a push-up, you're going to 90 degrees and then back up. You're not pushing as high, but having the wide grip definitely puts more strain on your on your pecs and makes it makes it more pec orientated. The next one is the diamond grip. When you're doing the push-up, instead of having your arms flat shoulder width or outstretched, you're having your arms shaped in a diamond and your feet aren't close together, they're just slightly apart a little bit. So you, so you have some form of balance. So you sit there, hands making, creating a diamond, and your feet just that little bit across. About, about shoulder width. And then you're just performing your push-up. Doing the diamond push-up, it works more um, your tricep and your arm, and more bicep, than your, your pecs. And the final, the tucked in push-up, is you're doing a push-up, instead of having your arms out wingy, you have your ar you're, you're pulling your arms in. So you're still shoulder width apart, but opposed to going out, you're going in. The idea of this push-up works more of the muscle in there. This, these next sets of push-ups are um, they, they're definitely getting harder. They're, they're explosive push-ups. Um, these all all of these push-ups are your throw it when you you go down. As you're coming back up, you're pushing yourself off the ground and performing an action. 
There's, there's two types, a clap push-up, or one where you'll alternate when you'll go from a wide grip, you'll push up, and then go into a, a closer grip, and you go push back down, alternate to back to a wide grip. Clap push-up, hands shoulder width apart, feet close together, and you're just bending down, and then have to be quick, otherwise you're not going to catch it. Push yourself, pushing yourself up, getting getting a clap in that space. It's recommended not to do it on grass, because my feet are slipping when I'm doing this. Try get somewhere where your feet aren't going to move. Even like wedge your feet in something, like on a corner of a wall. The alternating wide grip you you'll start. You can start either doing a wide push up or um, just a normal push up, and you're starting normally, going down, pushing wide, going down, pushing back in close, going down, pushing out wide, going down. These final, the final push-ups I'm going to do, and the hardest form, is called a decline push-up. The idea of a decline push-up is that your feet are actually elevated off the ground. Um, you can use your couch, your bed, um, a chair. I'm going to use the park bench. Your feet, they aren't, they aren't on the ground. They're, they're placed on the bench, so, so they're higher up. And then you do you just you just perform your normal push up. But you can also alternate so you do wide grip declined push ups or diamond push ups. All the tucked in. Thank you for watching and enduring my camera woman. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. Um, subscribe, you'll get free weekly updates. And please comment on anything. Ideas, tips, things I did wrong. <laughs> Have a good day. See ya.